In this demo, I'm going to show you how to install OpenJDK Java on a Linux uh, box or server. I'm going to be using CentOS, but you could be using Scientific Linux, CentOS, or Red Hat. Let me log in to my Linux box right now. As you can see right now, I'm pointing to my blog. It's JonathanMarkSmith.com. I'm going to do a little cheating. Instead of typing in all the commands, I'm going to go to my blog and copy the commands and paste them into a console window. By doing this, I show you where it is on the blog, plus also it saves us a lot of time of the typing. So as you can see, I went to JonathanMarkSmith.com and I searched for how to install OpenJDK. I'm going to just copy this one command right now to uh, to get it, and and I like to you know use control keys. And I see I copy the command. Now I'm going to go to my console in the same box, and uh, I'm going to paste in the command. As you can see, I'm running the command as root. You always got to run the installs on the root, and I like to use yum. Yum is the package manager that is on Cent OS, uh, Scientific Linux, Red Hat, and a few others. It makes it easy to manage your box. So let's enter the command. It will prompt you for the root password. And after entering the root password, it goes out and it tries to get the RPMs and it asks, would I like to install them? Let's just say yes on this box. And it'll start to download the RPMs, as you can see. And as it's downloading them, See, it's taken a few minutes because there is a, you know, quite a bit. There's about 55 megs, uh, 66 megs to be exact. And uh, it's testing now. Now it's going to run the transaction and it's starting to install them. As you can see, the process so far was pretty easy on a Linux box that uses YUM. And it's installing, got two more to go. There's your Java docs, and next is your source. That is actually the biggest one, 38 megs is the source, but 39 megs. <laughs> Just let that finish. You could also go to my blog, JonathanMarkSmith.com, and see a lot of other tips and tricks that I post up there. Every time I get asked a question, I try to post it on my blog if I keep getting the question asked over and over again. That way I could point people to my site and they could find out the answers without coming to me over and over. As you see it's still uh, installing the Java docs taking a little bit of time and you know it's early on a Saturday morning and after we get this installed, we should be able to run Java dash version to make sure that the correct version is installed. As you can see at this current time, I'm installing 1.7.0.19 of OpenJDK. Okay, and now it's installing the source, which is just pretty much a copy, so it should be pretty quick. Okay, and it's just verifying the install, and it says it's complete. So what we should do is really make sure that the install worked. I'm going to type in Java slash version. Let's see the Java version. And as you can see, we installed Java 1.7.0.19. Let's just make sure Java C, the compiler, is at the same version. And as you can see, the compiler 1.7.0.19 is at the same version. So again, you could go to my blog, JonathanMarkSmith.com, and search for a lot of these tips. I have them on there, and and I actually leave the tips up there. But so that if you forget the command of how to do yum install, you could actually go up there and find it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is on my site. Also, you could see up here there's a link to my Twitter too, and my GitHub. So. Hope this tip helped. If you need any other tips, please feel free to email me. Thank you.